I am Sam Reed. I am a IB art student and I'm going to talk about some of my artwork. Um, coming from IGCSE Arts, um, IB art was a lot more, not stressful, but there was more work that you need to do, especially written work, because with IGCSE we had artist studies where we would choose an artist, we'd look into their work, we'd uh, talk about like what work they're creating, why they're doing this, their past, their history. And in IB, you do something similar with the comparative study, and it is a lot more writing, a lot more in depth. It's really, for me, I found it very interesting because I enjoy um, doing a lot of like research on artists and history because I'm just interested in those topics. But I was very, I, I'm not good at time management, so I was very overwhelmed by all the writing that I had to do or we had to do. Art portfolio, my, my exhibition is mostly with, um, mostly has to do with self-expression and self kind of yeah self-expression with my kind of journey through finding out my gender identity and sexuality as well as more darker things with my mental health and things that I might be struggling with um, like one of my first parts the pride one I made it uh, near the beginning of the year is my first piece, I believe. Um, no, it was my second piece, second poetry piece. And it was when I was first kind of figuring out my gender identity and finding out more about the community and all the things happening around the LGBT community. So I just thought I'm going to make a pride pot that kind of um, just has a lot of my, my feelings surrounding myself and the community. Um, another thing that inspires um, my art is mythology. I just have a very deep interest in uh, like theology, mythologies, religions. Um, I just find them very interesting because it basically it's a it's a look into the mind of people in the past and how they kind of interpreted the world at that time. Like this piece here, um, it originally was a, another piece, the first piece I made that was much smaller, and I kind of just remade it, but had other inspirations as well. So the original inspiration for that piece was the uh, biblical story of Adam and Eve and the forbidden fruit, which is why I had like the snakes. But um, while making it, I had other um, ideas and it ended up being more of a amalgamation of my favorite Greek myths and female um, characters in those myths. Like the snakes are a reference to Medusa um, the spider is a, is a reference to the myth of Athena and Arachne and the figure on the top is supposed to be Persephone, the queen of the underworld. Um, I mentioned before that a lot of my pieces are like self-expression for a darker uh, kind of mindsets and two of my paintings were self-portraits and they were kind of expressions of that. For my first self-portrait has uh, a lot to do with my kind of struggles with my sense of self because when I was younger I used to uh, just hide myself completely. I would say I liked things I didn't like, I would ignore things I did like and I was just trying to be someone I wasn't for other people and I still kind of struggle with those habits of just saying I'm someone I'm not and I'm trying to open myself up more but even while I'm trying to do that more, I'm still struggling, especially with the people closest to me. So in the painting, I've kind of, like you can see a majority of me, but you can't see all of me. And it's just, yeah, uh, pe uh, the people closest to me especially will know a lot about me, but not all of me. And I kind of want to do that more, but I'm struggling to do that. Um, another painting is, so the first painting was in oil paints and the second one was acrylic paints. Um, and that one, has more to do with my kind of, I guess, relationship with my self-esteem and self-image because I, um, I'm uh, non-binary and gender fluid, so I struggle with gender dysphoria a lot, which is very not fun. <laughs> um, but I also have trouble with facial and body dysmorphia, so I just, I don't have a good relationship with my body. And I kind of showed that with this painting of having the body be uh, a Barbie dolls and the, the face be covered by a uh, like panel of gray. And I uh, 
I put my hair on the doll and that's really the only defining part of me that you can see because like, yeah, hair. <laughs> um, and I kind of just used it to show like, like, it's a plastic body. I don't, plastic and like skin is very, very different. Um, and it's kind of just to show my kind of feelings of separation, I guess. Um, and like plastic is known for being very malleable and you can mold it into a lot of different things and it's just a, a part of my brain is saying you can mold your body in the same way as plastic and I know that's not true so it's just something I'm working through. Um, through the process of my portfolio and exhibition I've learned a lot of new skills. Um, I never really did paintings because I just found especially acrylic paints paintings because they're really uh, I found them really difficult to use, but with like the portraits and especially the oil portraits that I did of myself and my partners, I learned a lot more of like how to kind of paint and use those those tools. Um, something new that I tried was I tried um, customizing a doll, which I found very enjoyable and would like to do again. <laughs> um, uh, seeing all of my work uh, in like the exhibition, it was very. I don't know how to explain it. It was nice because I could see all of my all of my work kind of on display, um, and it was also kind of because like that was basically just the end of making art, and I was I was happy because I wouldn't have that stress anymore. But I was also kind of sad because I greatly enjoy doing art and making art because it's like a way to let it's a, it's a way to de-stress and kind of express myself.